In this video, we will go over the count to infinity problem, which occurs in distance vector routing. We will construct a simple router schema and use it as an example. We assume you have some knowledge of the schematics of distance vector routing, but we will still summarize the main properties. So this video should be easy to follow even without any prior knowledge. Let's summarize the properties. So each router maintains its own routing table. In this table it stores all the other known routers and a cost and via for each particular router. Each router sends its own table to all neighboring routers. And it will also update its own table by the incoming information contained in the routing tables of the neighbors. Well that seems simple right? Let's go to the example. In our example we consider three routers, A, B and C. A is connected to B with a cost of 1 and B is connected to C with a cost of 2. Once the routing tables are updated we find the following three tables. For table A we have two entries, one for router B and one for router C. We see that we are directly connected to B since the VIA value is B itself. But if we would like to send a packet from A to C, we can tell we must send it over to B to get it done. The same applies for the tables for router B and router C. Now this is all fine, packets will get sent to the right routers, either directly or via another router. But what happens if a connection or a router crashes? Say the connection, for whatever reason, between B and C is lost. Router B can tell that it has lost its direct connection to C. So it looks at the tables from neighboring routers, in this case just router A and it sees that router A can actually still reach router C. Thus, router B thinks that it is able to send packets to C via A. It will update its own entry by adding the cost it takes B to reach A and the cost it takes A to reach C. This will be 1 plus 3. Now it sends its updated routing table to router A. Router A sees that the entry for C has changed and thus it needs to update its own entry for C. It sees that, in order to get a packet to C, it needs to add the cost that it takes to get from A to B to the cost that it takes to get from B to C. Hence it will add 1 to 4 and update the cost for router C to 5. It then sends its updated table to neighbor B. I guess you can now see where things get smelly. This pattern repeats. Both of the routers think they can reach C by sending a packet to one another. And with each update of the routing table, the cost goes up unlimited, to infinity. And that is exactly what it is. Both routers are counting to infinity, hence the count to infinity problem. 